whenever we come to LA, all our members they ask me, "Hey, where should we go for you know a good restaurant?" He never knows. So, uh, huh? <laughs> he said you never know. <laughs> exactly. I don't really know. Two, three, best of the boys. boys. Hello, we are the, the boys. boys, and you are watching Billboard News. Hey, what's up? It's Tetris with Billboard News, and we get to have some fun today. I'm hanging out with some fellas from the boys. What's up? What's yeah. Up? Hi, hello. My name is why you want it. Just dropped a brand new project, Fantasy Part 3. Yes, yes part three. Yes, it is. So now that it's all out, I mean, you guys decided to release it in three parts, but what makes this one different than the first two? Well, we took the word fantasy and uh, split it up into three different kind of worlds. And this one is kind of like a funeral slash graduation. Um, it's kind of saying goodbye to the past and welcoming the future. So it's kind of a... Uh, emotional but hopeful kind of vibe. Okay, so can you tell me now, what's part of the funeral? What are some things you guys think you're saying goodbye to? Well, in a graduation, you're essentially saying goodbye to, to your previous years and you know, letting go of the past. If you look in, at our music video, we're actually um, playing students. and We're actually at a graduation, um, and so you can feel a lot of the vibes watching the music video. We're saying goodbye to our past six years. Well, not goodbye, but you know, just like leave it as it is and then welcoming our new future, you know? The path ahead. Yeah, exactly, because we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff in the future, so I think that's what it is. And when you're looking at the future of the boys, like, what do you see? Well, I, I see you in it for sure. <laughs> I'll be there. I see a, I see a billboard too. Okay, yeah. we're gonna hit those, hit those charts. We're gonna top exactly, all Exactly, yeah. I Eve. like that. Let's break down some of the songs that you guys have on Fantasy Part mm -hmm. 3. Okay. Now, the first one that you guys kind of teased was actually Dear. And you guys showed the performance and everything to get people kind of ready for it. So why was that the first song you guys felt like you wanted to test the water with? We uh, released uh, a song every December 6th. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a, a, for the fan, like, letter. Love letter. Yeah, love, love, letter. Like, love, love letter for our fans. Yeah. And I think they really appreciate it and it's of course of being a ballad so is it harder to kind of do the like ballader songs or do you guys have more fun doing the dance songs? I mean he loves to listen he to ballads. He likes yeah, I sure. love <laughs> ballad. He's a good singer. Ballad. But my job is K-pop oh. idol so I love performing. Yeah. Dance song? Dancing. Dance well, song. Dance song. Yeah. Here's an episode. Um, I wrote the lyrics for the deer. Okay. Yeah, and along with uh, I think Sanghyun, Youngun, Yu, and Q, I came up with a theme of a uh, deer like a uh, lyrics, putting it in like a letter kind of a uh, formation. It was a ballad song, obviously, but as a rapper of the group, it was kind of I I had a little difficult time writing the lyrics to be honest, but um, it turned out really good, and our fans loved it so. I'm very happy with it, yeah. Well, thank you for telling us that story. That's yeah. so interesting to hear kind of like your process mm -hmm. and that like it was even difficult for you because nobody would ever believe that probably. Yeah. And then let's talk about some of the other songs, Nectar. So sweet like nectar. Give it to me, give it to me like nectar. So sweet like nectar. Talk to me about that song and why, uh, why it's a, a great part of Fantasy Part 3. The atmosphere of the song, I feel like it fits really well with um, now it turning into spring very soon. And also the meaning behind like the music video and everything for Nectar is the saying goodbye to the past and saying hello to the future. So saying goodbye to our bittersweet memories is what I like to summarize it for. And it's our title track. Yes, yeah, since yeah. it's our title track, um, I feel like it best displays that whole concept. And Jacob, what was your favorite part of filming the Nectar video? So it was actually filmed in Jeju-do. Jeju Island. Jeju Island. Jeju Island. Oh, Jeju Island. Yes. Yeah. I really enjoyed my drum scene. I have a drum scene yeah. and I just drummed all out. Oh, that's what you And it was... He's finding out about this now. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was the last one to shoot that day, so ah. the members won't know. But there was like glitter all over the drums and I was just like drumming away and that was fun. The music video is pretty sad. Yeah. 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 Because like you guys said, you're kind of closing a chapter. Mm -hmm. 
and opening up something new. So there's yeah. a lot of acting in it. Yeah. There's, it's more like a story. A cinematic yeah. kind of thing. More, more than, than like it. choreography so, and drama. stuff. Like there's like drama. There's uh, no choreography in the music video. And uh, just all like a drama ties uh, for, for this one. Which and is new a, for us. Yeah. For a title a, track. There's a running joke um, among like I guess male K-pop idols about wearing school uniforms. Oh yeah, yeah. Because we're all like, how old are you? And, uh, I'm 20. Our youngest. 23. 23. So it's been member. it's been a while since he's been hi <laughs> in, in high school. school. In high uniform. school, exactly. And yeah. our oldest member is uh, was born in 1996. Fans are always always wondering until when are you gonna are you guys gonna wear school uniforms? Yeah. And I think it's safe to say that this. Music video might be our last. <laughs> I, I shouldn't say last. We won't know for a while. For, for a sure. While. Yeah, for a while, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. And then this title hurt me less. <laughs> hurt me less. Um, I guess it's about emotional pain turning into physical pain when it hurts so much that it feels physical. The lyrics are quite simple. The hook goes. Um, hurt me less, love me more. It has a very refreshing band sound that we've never really tackled on before. So I'm really excited to do it live in front of a yeah. live audience. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how do you guys decide like what s sounds you want to try? At this point in our career, we want to tackle what we haven't done before. As 11 members, we're all capable as a group of tackling on basically everything. So it's, we're still experimenting, but still, um, keeping our identity at its core. And I want to talk to you also about some of the other fantasies yeah. and how you did the subunits. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so talk to me first, my Canadians in the back. Yes. <laughs> about um, Rat in the Trap. So how was it to work on that song? Okay, so when we first listened to it, uh, we were also like, oh, because we were thinking more ballad, because vocal unit, you, you know, tend to go more for like the ballad side to kind of separate from maybe a dance or a rap unit. Um, but the fact that it was more uh, rhythmical and um, just had that R&B vibe as well. It was very fun, very hard uh, to record, but had a fun time. And so do you guys find that you like learn more when you like kind of switch to the other units? Because you were saying like as being part of the rap unit, mm -hmm. you had a difficult time writing a ballad and then you guys then did that. So mm -hmm. like do you kind of like try to switch it up a every once in a while? When we're on stage as a group, we kind of do a little bit of everything anyway. Mm -hmm. The only difference was that we were in a smaller group right. and that gave us more pressure to fill up the stage even more. But it's always fun and uh, finding out each other's strengths, hidden strengths, because you know you get more lines in a yeah. longer song. And then you guys worked on Passion Fruit. Tell me about that one. It's the very first unit in our group. I was very looking forward to promoting. So first I heard that the song it was very fresh and so pop. Popish? Yeah, popish. So, I really want to join this unit, so it was fresh. Me too. <laughs> and yeah. the, the, the first was really time, good. Me too. The first time they performed it was at KCON LA. KCON LA. Yeah, KCON oh, LA. Nice. Without, Very first time. Uh, yeah, without yeah. a rehearsal. And what you guys don't know, they say no rehearsal. I mean, this guy barely made it. Yeah, I, yeah, I barely made it that day. One hour before the yeah. performance. That's crazy. We're talking about KCON, but what about performing for your fans? Are you guys going to go on tour now that fantasy is complete? Yeah. yeah. I mean, for sure. Our fans have been, you know, just dying for us to go on a uh, tour and I think it's about time where we are, you know, going to make that happen this year, yeah. And I mean, what's the most exciting part about being out there? You were talking about like filling out the space and being on stage. How do you have fun out there? Um, just interacting with the fans, uh, especially um, since we haven't been able to perform for them for such a long time, depending on where we go. And just their energy makes us just want to give even more energy back. I feel like we're the type of group where if they're hype, or we're also super hype. Mm -hmm. Even if they're not, we'll do our best, but like it's just those interactions that make concerts so much fun. And it's interesting to see different concert cultures in different countries and different cities. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, soaking all that in, it's really fun. Well, what's one of your favorite cultures you've ever performed? Ooh, for? I think sure. it's yeah. London? Paris, Paris? Oh, for me, oh, Paris? Paris? Oh, they're, like oh the footsteps, oh, the footsteps. Oh. before the before the show. 
Yeah, they stomp their feet. We were like, what the heck is happening? Is there an earthquake going <laughs> there, on? Yeah, you're like, yeah. wait a minute. And I feel like you guys might not have been on tour right now, but you've maybe visited some tours I've heard. Like, what's the show you've been to recently that you enjoyed seeing? This guy. Well, I attended the Renaissance World <laughs> Tour. <laughs> Crazy experience. I actually flew all by myself. Bought the tickets first and then figured out plane tickets later. Oh man, I was in the sun for like 14 hours straight. Oh, it was I, one of those like uncovered. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh man. I st my tan is still here. Oh, that man. was back in September. It's like March now, it's still here. But uh, I do it all over again. Yeah, for Beyonce, you gotta do it. <laughs> and then Eric, you're from right here in LA. Yeah. So how is it to like have your bandmates here? Do you take them around town? Like how's, how's it been to hit uh, the city? When we, whenever we come to LA, all our members they ask me, "Hey, where should we go for you know a good restaurant, or where, where should we go for shopping and all that?" Never so, uh, huh? <laughs> he said, "You never know." <laughs> you never know. <laughs> exactly. I don't really know because as a person who lives here, you know, nothing is. How should I put this? Like too special for me because I've been here and there too often that I don't know which place they would like and all that. Last year, at K after the KCON, I took my members to my house and then we had a little pool party and then we went to my house and I had a drink. We played beer pong too. Nice! Yeah. See, it's sometimes it's the chill stuff that's exactly, more fun yeah. than like going to do going tours. Out, things, exactly, you know? yeah. And then has everybody been to Canada? Not no. yet. No. Unfortunately, not yet. We want to though. Well, what's the first place you guys are going to take them when they go to Canada? Uh, I'm gonna say Stanley Park. Well, first we gotta talk about if we're gonna go to Toronto first or Vancouver first. Depends on, you know, the tour <laughs> thingy. I mean, it's LA, Seattle, and then Vancouver's right there, so. Vancouver first? Yeah, I mean, Vancouver. New York and then Toronto. It doesn't matter, but I don't know. <laughs> for me, I'd probably take the members to the CN Tower. CN Tower. Because we have Namsan Tower, but CN Tower is way higher, so mm. I feel like it'd be a quick, fun experience. Nice, and I just did my first trip to Korea ever. Wow. Right. But wow. I love this so much, I want to go back. So next time I go, where should I go in Korea? What's uh, your Korea. favorite place to take yeah. some back? Jeju-do. Oh. Jeju Island. Jeju Island. Oh, Jeju. Yeah, I haven't been, and everybody says it's so beautiful. It is. It is. It is. It's so beautiful and warm. Black pig. Oh. Yeah. Ah, ah. Very nice food. Uh, yeah. Pork. 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 Oh. Black pork. Black pork. Do you know samgyeopsal? No. It's like a... Korean barbecue, you know Korean barbecue. Oh well, yeah, right? I Korean went food to like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I went to like the restaurant that's across the street from um, BTS's like dorm or old dorm or something. Oh. And they brought the hot pork on the plate. Oh, that's yeah, what you're talking yeah, yeah. about, right? Th it's like steaming. Was it spicy? Yeah, it was spicy. Oh, that's Jeju. 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 Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was similar, yeah. But Jeju though is famous for um, like these these black pigs, and then the pork, it's the meat itself isn't black, but that's right. what they're famous the for. Okay, listen, it's, it's I really got good pork, to do. yeah. Man, well, I have to check it out. I want to talk to you guys about TikTok as well. You guys oh, yeah. like to have TikTok. a lot of fun <laughs> over on the Clock app. Yeah. So, why do you have such an outlet with TikTok? For me personally, um, it's my musical outlet. <laughs> it's where I like to do a lot of covers. We don't really get to do a lot of musical production in our, our group as for our own music. So, I like to kind of just you know, experiment and do things on TikTok. And maybe some piano covers as well? Yeah, piano covers, uh, MIDI, um, sampling, and yeah, all that fun jazz. Uh, for me, it's pretty much just for the fans, uh, more than just finding stuff to do for fun. It's more I just want to do my own, like Kevin, since when we're in a group, I didn't really get to play the guitar and just sing for the fans. Just the two friends. We can make it if we try. Just the two friends. So I use TikTok for my pajama karaoke covers. I'm running out of pajamas, so <laughs> I'm looking for new pajamas. You gotta go on Amazon and just start stuff. <laughs> yeah, I have like 30 pajamas at home, but. You should make a quilt. Like, I don't wanna reuse one I already used. I just want to keep that trend going. Okay, listen, it's not a bad trend to have. Um, and then one thing you guys all have in common is sports. Sports, yeah. Sports, yeah. So like, how, how do you Breathing guys, <laughs> like, do you guys like have favorite teams? Do you guys fight each other over like, who's gonna win what? How does it feel to like, have so much sports inspiring in your group? The uh, funny thing is that we all like different sports. Like, he likes basketball, but he also likes volleyball. I'm a baseball and a golf guy. 
and he is a basketball guy. He's soccer. He is soccer. I breathe. He, he breathes. breathes. Say, what do you do? I'm, I'm the water boy. <laughs> He's the <a> water boy. <laughs> he just watched them watch sports. Yeah. yeah. All right, and then also, I want to play a game with you guys before we right. get out of here, where I just want to see who's most likely to do certain things. Okay. okay. So who's most likely to grab a snack in the middle of the night? Three, two, one. It looks like it's most you. people are saying it's you, Eric. It's Eric? A, uh, Eric? Eric? But what time are we talking though? When we say midnight? I say middle of the night, so middle. that could be, I'm thinking like two in the morning. Two you know? in the morning. That's probably, I think probably me because I always eat at like two or three a.m. Always? Always, yeah. Always, always. I always, Why are you I, always? every day. Every day. I have a mango juice. And uh, La I have ramen, I eat that every 2 a.m. <laughs> it's like a, it's like my routine now. Oh, but you're 23, so yeah, <laughs> that's okay for now. Yeah, for, for now, now. <laughs> for now. I don't have that belly fat yet. <laughs> and who's most likely to play a prank on a bandmate? One, <laughs> two, three. three. Wop. Oh, oh man, nice. everybody hey. said hey. you. Hey. He's like the class clown of, of the group. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't act like he is, but he, he is the one. Yeah. yeah. Why do you like to play pranks on your bandmates? Oh, uh, he's bored. He's always bored, so he just he's always, always looking for fun. Yeah. And he so he's the most close members. 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 He's the around with the, the members. He's the most close with whoever he sees in his vicinity. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Now, who's most likely to take the longest getting ready? Three, two, one. These two. These two. Oh, both oh, of Me you, too, but, but then him more. <laughs> more me? Yeah, yeah. The best. No. no. See, Sorry. I don't know if it's getting ready or just being late. Okay. <laughs> no. No, let's say, no, not being, let's say getting ready. Yes. I'm always late, and this guy too, but then I get ready fast. So you're ready, you just on your own time. Yeah. They're you just, don't get there when you get there. Yeah. They're well, both, because I get ready the night before, you know? Yeah. Let's, I, get, I pack my clothes uh, day before, you know? See, that's getting ready. <laughs> that's, that's taking you a long time to get ready. So he takes the longest to get ready. Oh, yeah. He's out the latest. Exactly, yeah. Of yeah. the house. Oh. You know how many hours I packed for, for, <laughs> for, uh, for this uh, trip to LA? So I'm here for ten, about 10 days, right? Okay. I packed for two nights. So one first night for six hours, second night for two hours. I bet you're very organized though. I am. So a total of eight hours I've packed my golf bag and two trunks. It took me eight hours. I thought he was Jesus. moving out of the country. Yeah. <laughs> oh technically we we did move out of the country. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, for ten days. Yeah, for ten days. <laughs> and do you just love fashion? Or are you just is that why you take the longest? I cannot wake up. <laughs> oh. Well. So. Yeah, we all have that problem. Yeah. But I do feel like you guys do love fashion and in yeah. general. So what do you guys feel like inspires your looks, your clothes, and what's some of your favorite fashion? Is it stage or like at home? Most of us are at like just our at home wearing what we want. Exactly. Vibes. Whenever we have like um, events where our stylists can potentially dress us in like casual clothing, we opt for our own clothes instead of our stylist oh, clothes. Wow. We like to dress ourselves as much as we can. That's super dope. Yeah. Who's most likely to annoy the other bandmates? <laughs> so stressful. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? One, you two, you three. Somebody in mind. Yeah. <laughs> I have three, three. fingers. Three fingers. <laughs> but then also, also, uh, Hanjie. He he has a motor. Why? Motor mouth. <laughs> motor in his mouth. Yeah. All different King, reasons. King mouse. King mouse. Yeah. Wait, wait, let's hear Jacob. Machine gun. He has three different reasons for Eric. Hanjie. I mean. He, like we said, he likes to just have fun and pick at the members for his fun. Um, him, he's just very organized, and at times that makes him, you know, overbearing. Talk, like talk a lot, and we have to hear <laughs> You're all saying of that. it so nicely. You're like, no, you like, and then him, he's just, he's just random. Yeah. <laughs> at times he'll be the quietest guy, but then suddenly he'll be like it's screaming and like unpredictable. So in conclusion, <laughs> Kevin is the most annoying guy. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's what they said. <laughs> that's not it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, who's most likely to know another band's choreography? One, One two, two, three. three. Eric. Eric. Oh. He has good memory. And I I I uh, search and look up look up a lot of uh, groups like what they're up to you know what what music they've released and all that. He's an so. avid consumer of the K-pop market. Yeah. Yeah. I think we, before the interview, I think I saw you you were doing a little bit of the super choreo. By seventeen, yeah. Yeah. See, 
<laughs> see, it's gotta see, they know you really well. Who's most likely to check social media? Mm. Check social media. <laughs> yeah. SNS. One, two, two, three, two, one. one. <laughs> yeah, Eric. Eric owns stuff. Eric, Eric you are a problem. <laughs> this is I Eric. Am the problem. <laughs> okay, okay. What's up, guys? It's Eric. I think you got picked for like all of them except two. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, but, those questions is for Eric. Like I said, I'm just keeping myself, you know, updated to what the K-pop industry is, you know, how it's rolling and how it's going. So and how people are reacting to it. you. Yeah. <laughs> positive. Do you read the positive and negative comments? I tend to read a lot more of a positive. Okay. But I used to read a lot of negative comments back in like rook rookies, yeah. like when I was a rookie, but now I'm just like, you know, whatever. Yeah, because I don't see how you do it. I'm K-pop adjacent. I'm just a host. And sometimes I'm looking at my comments and I'm like, I, c I can't read this Aww. stuff. Oh, God, no, it was sad. Yeah. Now you guys <laughs> sad. You I like you guys. Now that Fantasy Part 3 is out, what's the last thing you want to say to your fans? I really hope through this trilogy that we got to, um, you know, really emphasize fantasy and that our fans we're able to just see a lot of different sides of the boys. And as we are ending it off with Nectar, um, you know, saying goodbye to our bittersweet few memories and just going for our happier new future, I hope you guys just come along with us and we'll be able to show you guys what we have in store. So please enjoy. We may or may not be seeing you in your own city slash country. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Thank you guys so much for coming to Billboard and hanging out. I really have Thank fun. you for Thank having, you for having us. us.